Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis. This is the fifth video in our series about fluids, electrolytes, and acid-base disturbance. In the previous video, we have talked about osmosis, osmotic pressure, osmols, and osmolality. Today, let's compare between osmolality and osmolarity. And let's get started. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Very well said. Let me answer the questions of the previous video. Okay, here is zero time. And what do you think equilibrium is going to be? If there are more solute in column A than B, then water is going to shift from B to A. So B should decrease below the zero level and A should increase above the zero level. So the correct answer here is E. Second question, calculate the osmolality of a solution in each case. So her, here we have one liter and one mole of sodium chloride. Is it ionizable? Yes, it gives you sodium and chloride. The answer is two osmols per liter. One mole of glucose in half a liter. Is glucose ionizable? No, it will give you one mole per half a liter. But then per liter is going to be two. And here you have one mole of calcium chloride. It's going to give you calcium chloride and chloride. So three osmoles and six moles of sodium chloride. Six times two, they're going to give you 12. 12 plus three equals 15. But we have 500 cc, which is equal to half a liter, you idiots. So the correct answer here is 15 times two is 30. Cell membrane transport is either passive or active. Osmosis is passive, simple diffusion. As I've told you in the previous video, osmosis is simple diffusion of water from high concentration of water to low concentration of water or from low concentration of solute to high concentration of solute. Osmotic pressure, the pressure needed to stop osmosis. And we have talked about Avogadro and the mole and we know that chloride is ionizable. It's gonna give you two osmols. And this is what we care about, the number of molecules, the number of osmoles, not the mass. Now, osmolality is the amount of force per volume measured in milliosmoles per kilogram, per kilogram. So what about osmolarity? It's going to be per liter, per liter. It's as simple as that. But is there a mnemonic to remember it? Of course there is. But first, let's get the definition. Osmolality, number of osmoles of a solute in a kilogram of solvent. Osmolarity, the number of osmoles of a solute in a liter of solvent. So the mnemonic goes like this. Osmolarity in the liter. Okay, it's an auditory mnemonic because some of you will screw it up and say osmolality has an L and liter has an L. So no, no, don't ruin it. It's an auditory mnemonic. Listen to me. Osmolarity by the liter. Okay. You'll never forget it. I hope so. Osmolality per kilogram, osmolarity per liter. And the beauty of this mnemonic is that it works in the UK where they write liter like this, and it works in the US where they write liter like this. Okay, this mnemonic works across cultures. It's amazing. Which one is more accurate, osmolality or osmolarity? The answer is osmolality. Why? Osmolality is in a kilogram. And your weight doesn't change. So, for example, let's get a test tube that contains fluid. Let's heat this fluid. What's going to happen to the volume? The volume is going to increase. What's going to happen to the weight? It's not going to change. That's why osmolality, the weight doesn't change. Osmolality is more accurate. Now, go to osmolarity in the liter. If you heat a solution, it will expand and the solution will look bigger. The volume is going to increase. So osmolarity is not the accurate one, okay? Which one is more practical? Of course, osmolarity, because it measures in the liter. Why is that? Because let's say that you're a doctor and you told the nurse, please get me a sample of blood or a sample of saline or whatever. Which one is easier? To tell her, get me 100 grams of the fluid or 100 100 cc's of the fluid. Of course, the easier is to get the volume. 
because we use like graduated stuff even the blood bags like have this stuff the syringes okay have this stuff okay so it's very easy to do it by the volume that's why osmolarity in the liter is more practical and as doctors we couldn't care less we call it osmolarity osmolality nobody gives a hoot so the difference between osmolality and osmolarity is bs or as they said in the uk it's nonsense osmolality in kilogram osmolarity in the liter which one is more accurate osmolality which one's more practical osmolarity if you ask a clinician we couldn't care less about the difference between osmolality or osmolarity we use them interchangeably and do you remember this doctor with edema due to increased hydrostatic pressure quiz time on his first day in the hospital a crazy medical student administers 100% water to a patient instead of normal saline normal saline of course is a salt solution what are the consequences of his stupidity is it a rbc's will shrink b rbc's will swell and burst c serum sodium concentration will increase d total body sodium will in decrease or a nothing it's the first day for the dude calm down have mercy on the dude no he's stupid did you know that now you can go to my patreon page click on video notes and choose hematology for example you will see all of my hematology notes there are like 150 of them you can download them print them view them do whatever you want Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis.